Good morning guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this unique dropper tower ride with command blocks in Minecraft. So here if I press this button, I'll start to rise up. And as you can see, as I get to the top, there's a countdown displayed and I fall. So it's a pretty cool ride, uh, let me show you how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is grab some rails and some minecarts. So if I place a rail right here and I break the rail underneath the minecart, then I'll see that the minecart will be pointing that way. So now I'll have to add minecarts over here. Oopsie. There we go. Alright, and now that I have these three minecarts in a row, I need to put some command blocks So, right here, I'll put a command block right there and right here. To get a command block, type slash give, at s, c, o, m, m, a, n, command block, it, just command block. And place these command blocks right here and right here. Uh, and then you need to type in this command block execute as at e type equals minecart and then we're gonna put a height so it's gonna be dy equals and then whatever height you want this is, this is going to be the amount of blocks above the command block that your dropper is going to be uh, I'm gonna put 30, uh, you can make it a lot bigger, you can make it a lot smaller, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, my other one was about 70, so it doesn't really matter. Then at S, run, and then TP, uh, three tildes, and then in on the middle tilde, uh, next to it you put 1.5. Oh, sorry, 0 0.15, not 1.5. Uh, yep, uh, alright. Now, uh, you want to copy this command and put it into the other one and make these both repeating command blocks and also always active. Uh, just for now, we're going to make them always active. So, now we can turn these back off again and Actually, to be honest, I probably didn't need to make them always active. I'm going to activate them anyway. Alright, just redstone block. That way they'll both be activated at the same time. And they'll start to rise up. And we'll just build around uh, from here to the top. Okay, and now I am done. Actually, I'll add a couple more blocks. Doesn't really matter though. Um, okay, and then now we need to add sides to this. Uh, this is uh, important that it has sides. I'm going to make it out of logs so that it looks prettier. Alright, so now that this is done, uh, we're going to put a trip wire hook right underneath these minecarts. So right here, right here, and we'll put a string right here. Nope, right there we go. So the block that this is... The block that this tripwire hook is touching, you add a command block touching that block. We need to make a new scoreboard. To do to make a new scoreboard, you need to type slash scoreboard, objectives, add, and then uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna yep, um, and dummy. All right, now that we have our uh, thingy, the scoreboard. We need to summon an entity to act the scoreboard on. Slash summon armor stand because they are the best type of entity. That's a fact. Uh, and then tilde 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 for placement. Curly bracket tags ellipses quote no sorry normal bracket quotation mark. Then whatever the name should be, I'm gonna name him Ronald Jacob the second all right and uh that should be good we summon him great i need to copy and paste this because i will not remember that name 
Okay, so now Ronald Jacob II is just going to sort of stand there, and we needed to add some uh, scores to him. So I'm going to make a repeating command block, and it says scoreboard players add at e uh, type equals armor stand tag equals Ronald Jacob the second and one. Oh, sorry, no. The scoreboard name was this thing, I think. I don't really remember. But it'll work, whatever. Okay, so just the one and then we're good. Now we need a chain command block. So we're gonna have this chain uh, and it's gonna say execute as at e type equals armor stand tag equals ronald jacob the second and then scores equals uh squiggly bracket thingy score and then another uh sorry not score it's scores equals and then f r g t r i'm gonna have to check that out actually i FRGTR, right, okay. And then equals. Uh, so we're gonna have this activate after one second. Uh, so for every tick, this will add one. There are 20 ticks per second, so this should be 20. And we'll say at, at S, run. And then we're gonna put a tell raw. Uh, Thing, uh, a title that so to do that I'm gonna do title at a we're gonna show this to all players and then title again it's gonna be a curly bracket text uh, and then a colon wait did I call that an ellipses earlier uh, it's a colon all right um, it's gonna be whatever you want it to be, I'm gonna put five because I'm gonna have a five second countdown. And then a comma, color, and colon again, and then green, I'm gonna make this green. You can make it whatever color you want, as long as Minecraft accepts it. And we're gonna set this to always active. Uh, now we're gonna put this in five so that we can make it go five four three two one except this time we're going to make the score different so we're going to add 20 because after another 20 seconds or sorry another 20 ticks which is one second we're going to play a new new title uh again right here and i'll do this with all of them okay and now i'll set all these to the right numbers and this will be four so it goes five four three two one so now uh it'll just make now, now we have our time our countdown done all right so uh after that we're gonna have it drop so it's gonna be after 120 ticks now we're just gonna get rid of this uh, everything after run and we're gonna set this to air set block that to air and then copy this and paste it in here and get rid of that slash and we're good okay so now if we activate this then after five seconds it'll drop five four three two one and there we go all right uh so now we need to be able to reset this timer so that we can activate it multiple times so um i'm gonna put this in the start area so wherever you want to put your starting button i'll put mine right here uh and the first thing I'm going to do is scoreboard 
players reset uh, at e type equals armor stand name or no tag equals Ro what was it Ronald Jacob the second Ronald Jacob the second all right and then this thing and and that that should be good uh, okay so now if we press this button or we need to line that up first now if we press this button then it should reset it so we can activate it again or yeah there we go so now now what's going on is this resets the timer and then this is the actual timer and that's all good and all but we also need this to make these guys go up so uh that set block command we have from earlier we can just copy that and make it a redstone block instead of air and put that right here so redstone block there we go now when we press this button this will go up now we need to have this over there set this block right here to a command block or no a redstone block not a command block uh and then that'll set off the timer so we just need to figure out what block this is and then set block that redstone block and copy it and we're good uh great so now set this to here and set this block to a, a redstone block and copy that and put that up here all right so now uh, this will set off the timer which is kind of useless because this is already down but that doesn't matter um, and now so this will this set this to a redstone block which set off the timer but now we need to set this to air so that it doesn't uh, so that we can reuse it so right here we'll make uh, actually we'll make a new command block slash set block that air and copy that and paste that right there so now if we ever do that again then it'll just activate that setting this to a redstone block but now we have another problem this time is still unusable again because this is still a redstone block so now we need to copy this command which sets this as a redstone block and make it into uh, not a redstone block anymore so I'm gonna copy this command block and make it set this to uh, air run set block and make it set this block to air and since we copied this command block it's gonna be after 120 uh, which is going to be the end of the timer anyway, so it's, it all works out. So now this command block will set this block to air. So if we... Uh, oh right, we need to reset. Oh, oh, well, I guess this is a good demonstration. So, this goes up. It goes through the tripwire. Five, four three two one and then it goes down and this shows one of our problems when it goes down it activates the tripwire again and then that doesn't give it enough time to sort of reset this whole thing uh also i yeah so now we need to make it so that this doesn't ever happen and the way we do that is making a new command block right right here that says set this to air slash set block this thing air okay that should be good uh and i didn't copy that i should do that and there we go Okay, so now this will set that 
to air so that it can't be tripped again. But now we need to set it back to not air when we go up. So we'll have this paste the same thing and make it a trip wire. And now that should be done. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. This goes up. And it it hits the tripwire. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. There we go. But now this is still redstone block. That's bad. Uh, did I mess up? The problem was we forgot to make sure this was properly wired. Uh, so so make sure this is properly wired. And these both these command blocks need to be activated. Okay, so uh, that that's about it actually. That was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for watching guys. See ya. Bye. Leave. Go away. Uh, wait, leave a like. Uh, yeah, so bye.